the word defibrillator for today where we're trusting God for a word from within a word. So the word today, I think we're going to go into Luke 45, but should we kind of put it in context? So we go back a little bit and it says, um, are the how costs? Oh, okay. We want to just do the amplified version. And this is going to be a comparison between your behavior and your intent. Now, when, Je when Jesus answered questions, he would answer the person's intent. He would never answer the person's question. Now, if the question married up to his intent, then obviously, but you know what God said when he said to Samuel when he went to go pick the king uh, with all the boys, and God said, man looks at the outside appearance. God looks at the heart. Hmm. So now, how's this? Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice or consider the beam of timber that is in your own eye? Now, we've talked about this before. Uh, just before that, it says uh, a pupil is not superior to his teacher. But everyone, when he is completely trained, readjusted, restored, why do you see the speck in your brother's eye? But you do not notice or consider the beam of timber that is in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, brother, allow me to take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the beam that is in your own eye? You actor, pretender, hypocrite. First take the beam out of your own eye and then you will clearly see to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. Now the reason why we can't is if you take a speck, like a, let's say a head of a matchstick or something, and you hold it like right up against your eye, you can't see anything. So it's not like his speck is smaller than yours. It's you've got something that's clouding your judgment. And it's an issue in your own life. And especially in the, in the area that you're trying to help that person, direct his. Now, the nice thing is, he is saying here that you can correct it. As long as it's corrected in yours. Hmm. For there is no good healthy tree that bears decayed, worthless, stale fruit. Nor on the other hand does decayed, worthless, sickly tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known and identified by his own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor is a cluster of grapes picked from a bramble bush. The upright, honorable, intrinsically good man out of the good treasures stored in his heart produces what is upright honorable intrinsically good you see it's what's in the heart and the evil man out of the evil storehouse brings forth that which is depraved wicked and intrinsically evil for out of the abundance overflow of the heart his mouth speaks this is very very important when you are in a difficult situation, what comes out of your mouth? And it says we store it up. We store it up for that moment. Well, you poke a guy and see how he reacts. So when he gets put into a difficult situation, a pressurized situation, how does he react when he's there, when he's under pressure? People say you need to put people under pressure. I say, no, don't put them under pressure. Put them under a lot of pressure. Because what is stored in our hearts? And some people go, wow, I never saw that coming. Where did that come from? And then we go, oh, yeah, you provoked me or you shouldn't have said that to me. You've upset me. And it's like, no, I didn't upset you. You upset you. So it's very important that we in our own lives, before it even comes to our mouth, check what's on our heart. How are we going to react? If you're in a difficult situation and people are, kind of changing your world how do you react do you defend yourself do you go on the attack because hurting people are going to hurt people and uh, yeah I was part of a meeting the other day and it was just thank God that you reacted the way you reacted because it could have gone horrible and people would have said things that could never be taken back and that is very very important 
But you got to check your heart because out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak. So we have to go deal with it. The nice thing is the upright, honorable, intrinsically good man out of the good treasure stored in his heart produces what is upright. Do you know those people? That just doesn't matter what they do. I saw a program on TV where there was this uh, this game show happening and and people were competing against each other and this one lady was just so nice. She encouraged everybody. She was doing very well herself and she didn't say, oh yeah, I'm better than you. It's like, sure, it just looks like it's my day today. And when somebody else tried, she'd say, oh, nice try, maybe better luck next time. And so the guys are like, you know what? You're always happy and you're always joking. Uh, not joking, you always kind of look at the good side of things. And then the presenter said something that was quite, quite unique. He just went quiet and he said, well, it seems to be that that is working for her. And she did. She won the big prize. And it was such a nice thing to see that this lady, irrespective of the pressure she was under, what was stored in her heart was just naturally to be so nice and calm and reassuring to the people around her. And when she did go through to the finals, everyone congratulated her and said, well, well done. Nobody held it against her. And that's where we say, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, if you're a nice guy, everybody walks all over you. Oh, you know what? I'd rather they pick me than somebody else that's going to really get hurt and their life's going to be destroyed. You see, because I am a loved person. So even though sometimes it hurts, hopefully what's stored in my heart will always be love in return. And I hope in your heart too. Heavenly Father, we thank you for you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for a revelation and a word from within the word. Father, what a kind of recheck and recalibration in our lives. What is it that sits on our heart? Is there anguish? Uh, is there anxiety? Or is there just that wanting for a moment to to speak your word, to live your word, and, and to add value to somebody else's life? Father, please create in us a new heart, a righteous spirit within us, if that what is needed. Father, if we have a heart of stone, please replace it with a heart of flesh. Please, Father, as we open our hearts to you this morning, that you write in the tablets of our hearts. We thank you for an awesome day. We thank you for an awesome weekend. We thank you this is a day that you have made, and we will choose to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for an exciting day, Father. Amazing results. That blind eyes will see, people will walk, people's lives will be healed, Father, physically and spiritually and sociably amongst one another that fathers would be restored to their children and children to their fathers. Father, we thank you for unity. We thank you for us as a country. Lord, we thank you for your grace, your goodness, your mercy. We thank you for your forgiveness Forgiveness in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Yeah.